It's week 11 of the 2023 season. And up next is one of the league's best, Jalen Ramsey. He had no picks a week ago, but plenty of stops. Nine of them to be exact. It's the Rams and the Cards, and it's coming right up on Madden NFL 23. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, C.D., you look at the Cardinals in this matchup. Their offense is a unit that's not afraid to take chances out there, but not always for the better. What do you see them trying to do here? I think they'll continue to take those chances, Brandon. But to me, they have to do it in a measured way. And what I mean by that, they can't just come into a game and throw caution to the wind and just say we're going to run a bunch of gadget plays, a lot of reverses, end of rounds, all of those things. SoFi Stadium. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads him out. Well, his ratio was good last week. Most quarterbacks are really excited about a 3 to 1 ratio, but it's flipped in the wrong direction. <laughs> not touchdown passes and he only had the one TD pass in that game so he's trying to turn that around and find a way for his team to win and opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine and that looks to be eight officially so second and two these are his numbers from last week's contest seven carries 52 yards They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Operating from the gun. Barnett and Anderson's got it. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The last run got six, now second and four. Looking to throw. Barnett, he's got the connection to Moore. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. The Cardinals hit four and six now of the year. And they come into this one knowing it's been a while since they've had a W. They have dropped four in a row. Let me tell you, when you go a month partner in this league without a victory, it gets tough to come to work every day. And in addition, you start to wonder about your job security as well. To throw on second down, Barnett. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him to put him out of the backfield. They know what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can explore. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Three yards remain for second down. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. to throw. Barnett, open man is Anderson. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Okay. 
Looking to throw. Barnett. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. They've gotten it to the four on this opening drive, but now they face a third and goal. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zach Ertz, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals are on the board first on the road here in L.A. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They look, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018 from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the 31, Mayfield. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield. He'll dump this off to Akers. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That's a catch of some significance. It's number 631 of his career. And why that's significant, it ties him with Hall of Famer Raymond Barry. He was one of the most precise route runners at any position during his time in his career. So I think that we're seeing something very similar here. He may not have known Raymond Barry, but he goes about his business the same way. Understands how defenses are going to play, understands where the leverage is, and goes away from it to the tune of 631 catches. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Mayfield. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it looking at a fourth down and two. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, 
They found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. The Cardinals on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at third and a few inches. Singletary here running out of the gun. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw, Barnett. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. The Cardinals on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Found this target, it's Anderson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 36. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from Crystal him soon. Foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official will not think twice about pulling his flag on that one. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Looking to throw on second down. Barnett. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Robbie Anderson. His fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up because I'm not the head coach. Okay, so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Mayfield on first down. Higby secures it over the middle. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mayfield now. Now the hook up here to Allen Robinson. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. They'll go with Akers. 
Lakers here up the middle. Room here to run. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Coming up at halftime, I'll go for one personality. That's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And, and just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mayfield. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And his kick is right there. It's good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Let's spotlight Devin Singletary as this offense comes back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That is caught by Anderson. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They go play action here on first down. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. And quickly they get to the line. Off the play fake, Barnett. Try to get it to Anderson, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? too many defenders out there exactly as you described an interception four seconds left and there's the timeout in field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission and this one is right through and that'll get the lead down to five so Charles they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal and anytime you get the ball off what's the first thing a coach tells his defense don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points up. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. 
But Charles, some things to like about that first half. Ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made in intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of the best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick a place to score it a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. It'll go as a gain of four. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. Man open, it's Cup. he's got it. And he's going to have a Rams first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. They give up the middle to Akers. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 52 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, that is a running back who was not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. To throw on second and six, Mayfield. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Mayfield looks to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And this will remain a five-point game. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's going to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Second and 11. Got Anderson on the slant. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to set down the field goal unit. And then you can even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. From just shy of midfield, Mayfield. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That'll be caught by Cobb. 
And they'll work this down inside the 30. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. That's out to the flat for Akers. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead for the touchdown. And so far in this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Throw left side complete to come. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. On the give, this is Akers. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. Back now here on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. And he takes it across for the Rams touchdown. Derek Watt, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Rams have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Mayfield going to try to throw for the two. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal with only tie as they up their lead to three. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Singletary to get the drive started. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go right back to Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw on third down. Barnett, that'll be taken in by Anderson. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off play action. Barnett. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. They were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, they're 
there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. On second and seven, Mayfield. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. Touchdown, Rams! Tyler Higby! Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed the intermission.